Okay, well, we're looking at the fourth of my Heathkit model IN3117 uh, decade resistor boxes. Uh, this one has been uh, cleaned up. Uh, the switches were cleaned and lubricated. We had uh, three resistors that we, uh, as we went through the, the different uh, steps, and tested each step, uh, found that three resistances were out of um, out of tolerance. So we've replaced those with uh, a larger wattage size. I got a three watt unit in there instead of these uh, one watts, and uh, and they're hand selected so that we are now within spec. And we're going to prove that. I've already done it once uh, in order to test the effectiveness of my repair, but. We're going to do it live so that you can see the uh, the test being run, and uh, and you'll know that this unit is working and that it's within its tolerance. The Heath kit was a um, one half percent tolerance unit. The resistors used in the unit are one half percent resistors, so we don't want any step to be over one half of a percent off of uh, tolerance. And. Uh, it's a six decade unit. We go from zero and one ohm steps up to 10 ohms, uh, nine ohms. And then we go to from uh, zero to 90 ohms and 10 ohm steps, zero to 900 ohms, zero to 9,000 ohms, zero to 90,000 and zero to 900,000. So in total, if you move all of the dials uh, up to nine, you would have 999,999 or 1 megohm. Okay, um, the unit also had a, uh, had a bad post on it, so I replaced the post. And um, the case has been um, cleaned and repainted. Nice looking paint job. The photographs do a nice job on it so you'll be able to look at those. Um, I was able to clean the uh, the faceplate up but obviously I can't spray paint the faceplate. If I did we'd lose all of the lettering so I can't do that. And there are some surface scratches, uh, nothing terrible but we have a an arc scratch here where somebody was holding a tool in his hand as he switched the uh, range. And then we have a couple of minor scratches uh, on the faceplate just from years of stuff being tossed against it and so on but all in all it's a beautiful looking unit it really is okay so let's get a go ahead and uh, take a look at it right now we are set at zero and we are reading the residual resistance of the unit and we see that uh, the residual is 0 0.057 so i'm going to put 0 0.057 on my page here uh, this is in the 1 ohm range, so then let's go ahead and move to 1 ohm. We see 1.058. 1 1.058. 2. 2.057. Just recorded that. 3. 3.058. Four. Four point zero five four. Five. Five point zero five zero. Oh. Six. Six point zero five seven. Seven. 7.062 8 8.056 9 9.056 Okay Go back, check our residual We have 
point zero five seven or point zero five eight flashing. So I'm going to see it didn't change. It's point zero five seven. And we'll go 10 ohms, 10.044. Ah, you know what? No, I should be good. That's good. I was thinking I had to change a range, but I don't yet. 20. Twenty point one two one. Thirty is thirty point one oh seven. Forty. Forty point one three six. Fifty. Fifty point oh nine two. Sixty. 60.206, and 90. 90.254. All right, we're back to the residual reading again, and we are going to go to a different range. So we're reading uh, this on the 2000 ohm range, so um, we're reading 0.05. And we're going to go the first hundred. One hundred, we got ninety nine point nine one. Two hundred, hundred ninety nine point nine five. 300, 300.1, 400, 400.21, 500, 501.77, 600, 601.75 700 701.84 800 801.83 900 901.99 Okay to the residual. Still reading point zero five. We're going to change the range now to the twenty thousand range. Okay, so now our residual is zero. And our first step is one thousand. We have 1,002.1, 2,000, 2,001.6, 3,000, 3,004.2, 4,000, 
7,000, 7,000, 9.2, 8,000, 8,000, 10.7, and 9,000, 9,011.4. Okay. Next range. Residual is zero on this range. We're on 10,000. Okay, we got 10,035 ohms. Twenty thousand oh thirty two. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand oh eighteen. Forty thousand. Forty thousand oh eleven. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand oh twelve. Sixty thousand. Fifty nine thousand ninety nine. Nine ninety. Seventy thousand. I'm sorry. Dial the right dial. There we go. Seventy thousand. Sixty-nine thousand nine sixty-eight. Eighty thousand. Um, seven. Eighty thousand. Uh, 70, 79,952 and 90,000 89,920 okay that's zero residual is zero we're on the 100,000 ohm step we're going to have to go up to the next uh, range setting and we get zero for the initial step, and here we go. 100,000, 100 100.08. 200,000, 200.50. 300, 300.38. 300,000, 380, 400,000, 400,000, 410. 600,000, 600,000, 430, 700,000, 700,000, 5, 350, 800,000, 800,585, and 900,000, 
900,000... 500. All right, so we have our results. I'm gonna go crunch them into the computer. We'll print them up and uh, we'll run over the results. Okay, well, we're back with our results. And what we have is that out of 54 readings, 42 of the readings were below 0.2% of error. Nine readings were between 0.2 and 0.3%, and three readings were between 0.3 and 0.35%, but nothing was higher than 0.35. The tolerance on the unit is 0.5%, so we are well within that tolerance and uh, doing great. So we have a good-looking unit that's performing great. I'll provide the... Uh, the test sheet along with the unit so you can check it yourself and uh, I'll also throw in a, uh, uh, a construction um, uh, manual for it so happy bidding thank you for listening do it again sometime good night